Welcome back everyone, Krothaus here again and we're going to go ahead and tackle UCE PvP Realms quick. So let's go ahead and import that into our game project and hit import. Give it a few moments. And voila, clear that out, expand that, and we're going to go ahead and open up our README. All right, so we got two changes, one to player, one to monster. So let's go ahead and get those opened up. Monster and player, and hit enter. Ignore this. If you end up getting it, it's super frustrating. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and find can attack. And there it is. And then we're gonna copy out our blue text, paste it in. And then we're gonna go to our monster, do the same thing, can attack, there it is. And copy out our blue text and paste it in. Now, uh, we did add the is passive last uh, session with passive monster and that's okay this will actually be in the PvP one as well so it'll already be checking for that so you do not have to worry about missing out there go ahead and save both of them you can close them up after you're done and we'll come back let it compile class your scripts once you're done on there and then we can go ahead and move our resources down to resources and give it a new name called realms because that's what those bad boys are we'll get back to them though and then in here we have something to drag to the scene this is our pvp is zone so we're just going to drag that out right here for now and then we'll get back to that one as well i we just want to make sure we get through all the steps and then the last section here is we need to go to edit project settings physics then on this little matrix here, you need to go to monster and ignore raycast. And just make sure that's checked, save your project, and that's fantastic. So that'll make sure that monsters can target each other. Otherwise you'll have monsters that can't actually hit one another when you do the realm section. All right, so a quick rundown of the PVP zone that we put in. Uh, you can check where its radius is by clicking on edit collider and seeing here. And you can change the radius as well, move it around, do what you gotta do with it. Down here you have a little bit more settings. Uh, you can, if it's open PvP, realm PvP, guild, or party, and you can put extra requirements for them to be in here to actually do PvP, what it's gonna say to them, uh, what kind of pop-up you're gonna get, so on are all in here for you to work with. Uh, and that's literally it for all uh, these PvP zones. There will be no PvP anywhere that these zones do not exist. So players cannot attack each other if they are not in those zones. All right, then we had our realms. So let's go ahead and tackle what these are. So in here, there are a bunch of objects with uh, obviously a name here, but also you can set an image and a description if you want. So these are essentially, in like most games, like factions or um, a good example, World of Warcraft, Alliance, and Horde. So you can have a PvP server with these in, in there if you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set everything up so it's using this system so we're gonna go ahead and find all of our skeletons scroll down let me just grab all of our skeletons i know we have a few so there's all the skeletons we're gonna go ahead and make them undead and they are allies with no one all right and now the other thing to mention with skeletons or monsters and npcs in general now is in here we're gonna go ahead and just click these skeletons and come down a little bit and you'll see that we have a new section called PVP zone settings. And in here you have different types of behaviors. So neutral means that they won't fight back unless you hit them first. Aggressive is how it normally was. Pacifist won't fight at all. And super aggressive, they will chase you to the ends of the earth kind of concept. Now, pacifist and is passive seem very similar. Uh, the difference here is 
Pass Fist is just going to make the monster stand there, do nothing. You can beat it to death and it will do nothing else. It's good for guards that for or quest givers. And if you want them not to die, you make them invulnerable. Uh, just That's the main factor here. Where is passive is still going to do what it used to do. If you attack a monster with is passive, they're not going to fight back and they're going to try to run. And is afraid will still work. These two, is afraid and is passive, will always override these. Just so you're aware. So we're going to leave them as aggressive. And then casual works with a skill later on that we're going to get to. But it allows you to essentially convert the monster to your side. Uh, so on, stuff like that. So you can make a skeleton uh, on the faction for humans. So we're going to go ahead and make our bandit aggressive and then we're going to make it a human as well because we want it to be on our side and then I gave it an ally of human uh, and this is because the monsters will check what realm they're in and if they're, in, they're with anyone uh, with their settings so we should probably do that so the skeletons don't beat on each other as well and then we'll come up here grab these skeletons I make them undead and this one should not he can be aggressive that's fine this one should be pass fist so that works out there we'll go ahead and save we'll collapse all this up hit play that well, should bring us on in server and here we go so when we go in and out of our PvP zone you can see it just pops up and says that we've entered the zone or we've left the zone this one will still work as an used to. He comes up with tanks. We're going to hit him or we'll get stunned a lot. <laughs> All right, beat him down until he's afraid. He's going to run away from us. He's scared. As you can see, the bandit has killed one skeleton. She's She has no time or sympathy for these bad boys. So I'm just going to bring this one over to her and she'll kill that one for me too. What a nice woman. Clearing out the undead uh, problem we have. And then all these over here still work as intended. They're still going to chase me and attack me for their fun. And this one up here is just purely going to run from me. It wants nothing to do with me. And there he goes. There you go. That is all there is to it. Uh, that is PvP realms completely put in. If... Uh, you want to make more faction control you can add more options in there uh, we have another add-on that gives faction reputation in which you mix these together and you can get a full faction system as well so i'll catch you in the next one